Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. I'm Zana Naushad and today I'd like to present a documentary on a very significant topic, the vanishing biodiversity. Do you know what makes our planet different from the other? It is the biodiversity of the earth, which includes millions of different kinds of plants, animals and microorganisms. We, the humans, are just one among the millions of different kinds of organisms which depends on Earth. Biodiversity is the term used to describe the enormous variety of life on Earth. It can be more specifically to refer all of the species in one region or ecosystem. Biodiversity refers to every living thing including plants, animals and microorganisms. It is a wish to keep all life on Earth healthy, balanced, and thriving. There is a mutual relation between all organisms and we need one another to sustain. Biodiversity is important to humans for many reasons as it provides ecological life support and it provides functioning of ecosystem, which provides oxygen clean air and water. For plants, it helps in pollination. For farmers, it helps in pest control and wastewater management and many other ecosystem services. We need to realize the importance of biodiversity and protect it at all costs. But do you know a sad truth that this is getting destroyed day by day? According to 1995 Global Biodiversity Assessment Program, humans shares the planet with 13 million other species. A generation ago, it was 1.3 million. Every year, new species are discovered and some go extinct. But What's actually happening? How is this creature going extinct? What is the reason for that? We, the humans, are a major reason for many factors produce biodiversity such as air pollution, water pollution, increased radiation. These human activities are affecting the living creatures so badly that they go extinct. The UNEP and other sources predict that 3% of tree lakh plant and animal species will go extinct in next 25 years. And sadly, humans are behind all these. We are destroying their habitat through deforestation. By cutting off trees, plants and both animals go extinct. The poisonous smoke from factories has killed so many birds and flies. And the most important one, water pollution. While throwing plastic and other harmful materials into water bodies, we probably do not think about the poor living creatures in it. Along with making a freshwater scarcity, we are destroying the life of millions of sea creatures. Even this pandemic has affected them because we are dumping our used mosques into the water and they are suffering because of it. Not just animals, plants are also in danger. 600 plant species have become completely extinct in the end of 200 years. 34.4% of plants are now threatened with extinction. This is literally shaking the Earth's green foundation. And the most saddest thing is that some of the endangered species of plants have great medicinal value. And if this goes like this, India's Ayurvedic treatment system will end soon. As the Ayurvedic treatment system is completely dependent on plants with medicinal values. Along with human activities, 
some natural disaster like flood. Forest fire are also being a threat to the biodiversity. But the core reason for all of these is human activities. When Amazon was on fire, 2.3 million animals were killed. Many lost their habitat and millions of trees were burned. Fires in Amazon rainforest has increased by 84 percentage according to Brazil Space Research Agency. We, the humans, really need to realize that the earth was made for all beings, not just human beings. The great wildlife explorer Steve Irwin once said, we will never save wildlife by killing it. But what we can do to save the biodiversity? We can save it by doing simple things like supporting local farming and by saving bees which plays an important role in creating the biodiversity. Take shorter shower because the water belongs to other creatures too. Do not destroy the habitat. It might be water or land. Let them live in their own habitat. Stop animal cruelty and abuse for There's money. Some ways by which we can conserve biodiversity and stand for our earth. Every year, May 22nd is celebrated as Biodiversity Day and the theme of this year's Environment Day is Ecosystem Restoration. But it is not about observing special days, it is all about bringing the change by yourself. The change should start within you to save our planet. Let's join our hands together to make our earth a better so place. So my dear to friends, live in. in this Environment Day, let's take a pledge to save our precious planet by making some changes in our daily activities and by changing our approach towards the planet. In this way, we can restore the ecosystem and save the amazing biodiversity of the earth. If you think that you can't make a difference, then ask yourself the question, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? Thank you everyone and wishing all of you an amazing day.